So I decided to go on a last minute trip. I'm in Nebraska. I'm gonna be honest, I've never met anyone until I got onto the plane to Nebraska that has been to Nebraska. But I think that's because I live in a different region of the country. I don't know anything about it, but I've always wanted to check it out. On this trip, I'm gonna explore Omaha and I'm gonna explore Iowa. Well, not like all of Iowa, but Council Bluffs and then potentially Des Moines, but I think it's probably too far. But the plan today is go to Old Market, have some dinner, and then go to sleep, and it's a jam-packed day tomorrow. The lighting is kind of bad here, but this is the fit. I'm going to like the Old Market area, so I'm not really sure how people dress. So I didn't want to like wear jeans, but I still wanted to be casual. See? We'll see. was so fun. I actually checked out downtown Omaha and it's so cool because there's so many like little shops there and boutiques and restaurants and pubs um, and then there's also a lot of art galleries. So actually yesterday I ate at this restaurant called Twisted Fork and I just had some mac and cheese. One of the um, concierge, the concierge here, concierge, concierge, Someone downstairs recommended that I get their mac and cheese there, so that's what I did, and it was so good. It was really big, though. I definitely got too much food. So today, I'm kind of concerned because it's day two. And I'm going to museums, but I'm also going to eat a lot of food. We'll see if I actually get to it, but I'm really excited. This is the fit today, so let's get going. Coffee time. I just finished looking at some art. The museum was really pretty. It was free, but the funny thing, the funny thing is people in Omaha, according to the reviews, come to this museum, number one, to look at art for sure. And number two, also the architecture and the outside of it is stunning, apparently. It's, it's apparently gorgeous. People take their prom pictures here. It's like beautiful, chef's kiss, you know? is under construction so this is what it's meant to look like and this is what it looks like right now from the view <laughs> that i could see and it was so funny i like walked up to the people that worked at the front desk and i was like where is this and he was like it's right next to you <laughs> it used to be pretty <laughs> and it will be prettier in three years and i was like thank you this i would definitely check out if you're ever in omaha because like it's free and there's so much art. There's impressionist and then there's also Asian art, 
antiques from like 600 BC, like antiques, meaning antiques. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god, so I just went to get like a really quick mini lunch at the cat and <laughs> the Katmandu Momo Station. It's in the Blackstone neighborhood of Omaha. And um I got to eat Momos, like the authentic kind. Because if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have a series on my channel called Kitchen Treks where I make dishes from around the world that I've never made before. And so I made one from Nepal called Momos, which are basically dumplings, but obviously I never had them before. But this place, they make this like street food very traditionally. And oh my god, it was so good! Mine were obviously, they did not taste exactly like that because first of all i made vegetarian ones and also i didn't really make the sauce but i made like the authentic momo but if you're interested you can check out my video up above but these momos were so good and what really like sealed the deal was the sauce oh my god but this place was like in a joined space with this brewery like brewing company so i had like the tiniest little taste of like real Nebraska beer, which was really cool. But now I'm at Jocelyn Castle. I'm just gonna walk around on the grounds to take a few pictures to see what's up. Cause who is Jocelyn and why are so many things named after Jocelyn? I wanna know. It's raining now. It's raining really hard. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm at the castle. But there's no info on like who Jocelyn is. Okay, it's raining, so I'm gonna take like some videos and then leave. Since it's raining, I really, really want something sweet. And the moments were really spicy. They were good, but they were really spicy. So guess where I'm at? This place called Brownie Bar. <laughs> shopping. It's my last day in Nebraska, and actually I'm gonna go to Iowa today because Omaha is literally on the Missouri River and like right across the river is Iowa, so why not? <laughs> I'm going to a town called Council Bluffs and apparently Abraham Lincoln used to have property there. Like Omaha and Iowa or Omaha and Council Bluffs are like very historic when it comes to like Lewis and Clark's expedition and the journey to the west so I did not know that. Okay so the plan was to get coffee from this like coffee shop that has like good reviews called Hardy's or Hardy I don't remember even though I was just there so I got coffee great I uploaded a new vlog so it's the national one if you haven't seen it. 
check it out right here but then i was gonna go like walk around the riverfront and heartland of america park and also go to like the lewis and clark landing and see like the historic site and also see the pedestrian bridge but i <laughs> i literally was driving for like i think like 20 minutes and it's a five minute drive mind you so like i literally got so lost i was going in so many different places and every road that i tried to take it just kept saying closed road closed no through traffic residents only this this is under 24 7 surveillance and i was like i'm not gonna mess with that so i guess i'm not going to the riverfront the good thing is i saw the bridge from afar and i saw the river like the other day but now i'm getting lunch because there's a Raising Cane's Chicken and Fingers here, or just Cane's. I've never had it in my life. I'm finally in Iowa, and I'm about to feast. So I'm currently in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I wanted to figure out like what there was to do here because I couldn't drive to Des Moines or to Sioux City at all because I didn't have time. And I found this museum called the Squirrel Cage Jail Museum. And I was like, I gotta go, I, I have to go check it out. It, oh my God, it, it is actually really cool. In fact, I wish more people were, actually no, I'm happy there weren't that many people there because it's like small and like the pathways are like cramped. So like it's better if there aren't that many people there, but more people should know about this place because oh my God, it was so like cool to read about the history and also scary to read about it. Um, there were some serial killers, I think, that were housed in there. Either they were housed in there or they're from Iowa or they're from this city. I don't quite remember. It was unlike anything I've ever seen because it was a rotary jail. As you go up in floors, the more dangerous the criminals become. And then on the top, the fourth floor, that's where the jailer sits. And the solitary confinement that was in there, don't get me started on how tiny that is. Like, like most people, like most people above like five, seven, I don't know. I feel like that's a tight squeeze. You can't sit, you just have to stand. And also, since it's October and it's like, Hall like Halloween's coming up, they decorated it to be all spooky so there were all these people like zombies everywhere and every time I like passed one I was like ah! I'm happy I wasn't the only person that was in there and that there were two other groups there because I would have been freaked out because apparently there's paranormal activity there I didn't really get bad vibes except for the third floor the third floor I got really bad vibes but everywhere else, like, but I haven't really ever, never mind, I'm not trying to jinx it, but I don't really have any experience with ghosts, but I'm not trying to jinx it. I don't want any experiences. I don't want any experiences. I want to make that very clear. I don't want any experiences. <laughs> I just checked out this sculpture gallery, which was also free. 
now I'm off to the airport. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I love making travel vlogs and I love sharing my little trips. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and want more food vlogs, travel vlogs, and fashion videos, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Oh.